am. I'm called a box fish because I'm shaped like a box. Right now, I'm smaller than a block of cheese, but I'm only a young box fish. Young box fish are bright yellow with black spots, but when we grow up, we change to a brownie mustard colour. Hello. Very old box fish turn grey. Hiya. Older box fish can grow to 18 inches long. That's bigger than a super family sized box of cereal. <laughs> but we don't eat cereal, oh no. We like algae, sponges, crustaceans, and mollusks. Oh, hello again. Um, what else can I tell you about me? Oh, yes. Well, my yellow and black spots are actually warning colours that tell other fish to be careful because I'm very dangerous. You see, when I get frightened, I release poisons from my skin. I... sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Boxfish live alone on the reefs of the north coast of Australia and in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Reefs are safe places and great for playing hide and seek in. Ready or not, here I come. Found me. Ah, well, um, I think that's all there is to tell, so... Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, boxfish are slow swimmers. <sighs> I'm nearly there. Just a sec. Bye. <laughs> oh, good morning. I am a giant clam and I'm just waking up. Could you come a little closer? I'd come to you, but you see, I can't move. I'm totally stuck. We're just too big and heavy to move around. And when we are young, we are anything but giant. We're tiny. When we are born, we are so small, you can barely see us. When we're about ten days old, we develop a little muscle that helps us swim and crawl around. And when we are four to six weeks old, we choose our home. A home where we spend the rest of our long lives. Giant clams eat in two different ways. We suck in water and eat any plankton that might be in it. The other way is through photosynthesis. That's the way that plants make sunlight into food. This blue stuff is actually algae, which is a kind of sea plant. It grows straight into our muscles and turns the sunlight into food for us. When the sun goes down at night, that means it's time to close up my shell. Or any time something tries to snack on me. Come and visit me any time. Giant clams can live up to 100 years. So I'll be right here waiting. Over here. Hey, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Boo. Ha. Now you see me. Now you don't. See me. Don't. See me. Cool, eh? It's a bit of my spine that hangs out over my mouth. The light is made by tiny bacteria. Gross, right? I'm the only fish who has one of these lures, and it's how I get my name, anglerfish. Just as anglers use their fishing poles to lure and catch fish, I use my own fishing pole to lure and catch fish too, down in the dark ocean. As soon as a fish sees my light, they're drawn to it. They can't help themselves. And when they get close enough... The male anglerfish are totally different to us females. They're less than half our size and they don't have a lure. Without a lure, it's impossible for a male to catch fish in the dark. So instead, he attaches himself to a female by biting her. Ah! Then he hangs on for the rest of his life getting food through the bite. Anyway, a female angler fish like me can carry up to six males on her body at a time. But right now, I've only got three hanging on. Okay, okay, I know you're hungry. Oh, I get no peace with them. Ooh, it's a big one. Luckily, I have a stretchy stomach and jaw. Bye! <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, uh, pardon me. I didn't see us there. I'm a jellyfish. Yes, we're simple creatures. We don't have a brain or a heart or even a skeleton. Mostly we're just jelly. The jelly that I'm made of is actually called mesoglia. Here, let me show you. You humans are very complicated. You have hundreds of body parts. We're much simpler. In our belly, you'll find our mouth, stomach, and of course that jelly I was telling you about. Our mesoglia. It's a kind of rubbery jelly that we use like a skeleton and muscles combined. It's what helps us move around, opening and closing our bells. See? We're just like umbrellas. Oh, and of course, I can't forget our tentacles. They help us catch small fish and little sea creatures, like a net. Then we wiggle them up to our mouths. Since most jellyfish are see-through, we can see our dinner after we've eaten it. Of course, you've got to worry about bean food too. That's why many of us have tentacles that can give a sting. It helps us to catch fish, but also protects us from fish that want to eat us. And some of us can even glow. Well, I better be going. Here comes my bloom. That's a name for a group of jellyfish. Goodbye now. All right, lads, let's get glowing. Hello there. I'm an exotic fish who likes to laze around the coral reef all day, taking it easy, swimming free in nature's beauty. Uh, oh, uh, what I meant to say is that I'm a goldfish. I was once from a very exotic part of the world, though. In ancient China, fish like me were taken from rivers and lakes and brought to live in ponds, where we were bred by people to be eaten. Thankfully, now people have decided to keep us as pets in their homes, because we're so pretty to look at and easy to keep. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, it's often said that we goldfish have short memories. But I can remember what I was doing up to three months ago. Ah, uh, yeah, swimming around here. You might be surprised to learn that goldfish never blink. You should try it. It's not as easy as you think. Like you humans, we can see in colour. This is unusual for a fish because most just see in black and white. We like to live in much bigger spaces than the small fish bowls and tanks that some people keep us in. In fact, if we live in big enough spaces, we can grow much larger and can live for more than 40 years. Sunlight helps to make our beautiful colours as bright as they are. If we didn't see any sunlight, our colours would fade away to almost grey. People think that we like to be on our own, but we actually like to have lots of friends around. Isn't that right, lads? Urgh, who's gonna be my lunch today? Who goes there? Well, you should know. I'm the boss around here. I'm a terrorist, but my friends call me a lionfish because of my amazing spines, like a lion's mane. There are 12 species of lionfish, and we're known for being aggressive and pushy, and of course, for our magnificent venomous spines. Watch out, because they can give humans a sharp sting. We lionfish are big eaters, we're built for it. We can eat fish up to half our size, as long as we can fit them in our mouths. Hey, where do you think you're going? We're native to the warm waters in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. But in the past 10 years, lionfish have been spotted all over the Eastern Atlantic and even in parts of the Mediterranean. Now that's more like it. <laughs> We lionfish prefer reefs and rocky, shallow waters. And of course, we can live wherever we like. No one would dare stop us. We don't get to be that big, but only a few fish would dare to mess with us. Yes, we are basically the kings of the ocean. No one to fear. Well, almost no one that is, except sharks. Ha <laughs> ha
Sorry, I'm a sawfish. I can't see very well, I'm afraid. And anyway, you just woke me up. I'm normally asleep during the day. Mmm, <laughs> that was delicious. You can guess why I'm called a sawfish, right? But this isn't really a saw. It's a really long nose called a rostrum. Imagine trying to blow a nose this long. We use them to defend ourselves. And to catch our food by hitting them. Or digging them up from the seafloor. We have bad eyesight because we live in the mud on the seafloor and hunt at night. But that's okay because our restroom helps us find food moving under the mud. <laughs> yeah, living down here is also a reason why we're flat on the bottom. Our mouths are underneath and we breathe through small holes in the top behind our eyes. <laughs> We're related to sharks and rays. None of us have bones. <laughs> now don't be silly. Our skeletons are made of cartilage instead, which makes us very flexible. It's a little embarrassing, but unlike most fish, we don't have a swim bladder to help us float. The special oil in our liver does that instead. Sadly, there aren't as many of us as there used to be. Our fins, the oil in our livers, and especially our rostrum are very valuable to some people. Weird, huh? Anyway, I'm too tired to talk anymore right now. This is the middle of the night for me. I'm gonna go back to bed. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. You know, people come up to me all the time and say, Wow, you're so super good looking. You could be the most super good looking fish I have ever seen. And I have to laugh <laughs> because I'm a butterfly fish. Of course I'm good looking. Butterfly fish float around the reefs of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. There are many types of butterfly fish. Good looking, really good looking, and super good looking. There are like 120 species swimming on reefs. Not all at the same time though. <laughs> that would cause accidents. Sometimes when we're not swimming, we just peck a coral with our long snouts, finding worms and small invertebrates. That's things that have no bones. So you see, my long snout doesn't just make me look good, it helps me eat good too, which also makes me look good. Unfortunately, sometimes other things want to eat me. That is not so good. But many butterfly fish have stripes and polka dots to confuse them. And at night, our colors fade to keep us safe. Did you know that butterfly fish find a partner for life? I'd like to find a super good looking life partner, but I'm still finding myself. Right now, I'm here, but soon I think I'll be over there. Thank you so much for coming to visit me. Bye. Mwah. Oh, hey man, didn't see you there. Do you dig my shuffle? I almost always walk sideways. It's awesome. See, I'm a crab. Did you know there are over 4,000 species of crab? It's far out, and we come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are teeny tiny, and others are humongous. We can survive in lots of different places. Some crabs live in freshwater lakes and rivers. Some live in the ocean, and some live entirely on land, like the coconut crab. Oh look, here's one now. Hey man, how's it going? Don't mind him, he's a little shy. We never see him under the waves. Doesn't have the gills to breathe underwater like me. His claws are strong enough to crack a coconut open though. Hey, watch out there, man. People think I'm a real tough guy. I guess it's because of my claws. They are really strong, but I'm really just a big softy inside. You see, I'm a crustacean. That means I have a shell to protect me, but I don't have any bones. We use our claws for talking too. <laughs> Good one, dude. Well, I better be going. Toodles for now. And hey, you should try the crab walk sometime. Sideways is sure groovy. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? 
You're losing me here. Why don't y'all come on down with me? See, I don't float too well on account of this here big old bony head <coughs> and my very small air chamber. <laughs> I'm a catfish, but you can call me, uh, catfish. Yep, don't think I look much like a cat, but folks say these here barbels is like a cat's whiskers. Us catfish are what's known as bottom feeders. Means we clean up the water by eating the rubbish and the pooey stuff on the bottom of the river that no one else wants. That's where having a big flat head shaped like a shovel comes in handy. <laughs> You'll find us cleaning up in rivers and waters around every continent except Antarctica, where it's too darn cold. Oh, sorry about that. Some catfish suck onto rocks with their mouths to hold still in Russian waters. Can you hear that? Of course you can't. I can, though, because I do really have strong hearing. Yes, sir. Ain't no plain ordinary ear. These bones link my inner ear to my little air chamber, which makes the sound louder so my brain can pick it up. Listen. That's my friend. Uh, Catfish. Says there's good feeding a ways down the stream. I'll be on my way now. Take care, y'all.